नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मिस्टर ए हैज रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड इन्वेस्टेड इन लॉन्ग टर्म कॉर्पोरेट बॉन्ड सो द इंफॉर्मेशन इज प्रोवाइडेड टू अस अबाउट एन इन्वेस्टर हु हैज मेड इन्वेस्टमेंट इन लॉन्ग टर्म कॉर्पोरेट बॉन्ड दिस बॉन्ड्स पोर्टफोलियो इज एक्सपेक्टेड एनुअल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न ऑफ नाइन परसेंटेज तो रिटर्न दे रखा है इट इज नाइन परसेंटेज एंड एनुअल स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन इज टेन परसेंटेज उसका रिस्क है दस परसेंटेज मिस्टर बी अ फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर रिकमेंड्स मिस्टर ए टू कंसिडर इन्वेस्टिंग इन इंडेक्स फंड विच क्लोजली ट्रैक्स स्टैंडर्ड एंड पुअर फाइव हंड्रेड इंडेक्स द इंडेक्स हैज एन एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न ऑफ फोर्टीन परसेंटेज एंड इट्स स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन इज सिक्सटीन परसेंटेज सपोज मिस्टर ए पुट्स ऑल हिज मनी इन अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ इंडेक्स फंड एंड ट्रेजरी बिल कैन ही देर बाय इम्प्रूव हिज एक्सपेक्टेड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न हाईलाइट द क्वेश्चन विदाउट चेंजिंग रिस्क ऑफ हिज पोर्टफोलियो द ट्रेजरी बिल मीन्स रिस्क फ्री रेट ऑफ रिटर्न यील्ड्स इट मीन्स इट जनरेट्स अ रिटर्न ऑफ सिक्स परसेंटेज देन सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज येर विच आई वुड लाइक टू रीड लेटर ऑन I request all of you to give answer for the first part of the question in the chat box. I explain the question to all of you. The question provides us with the information like this: An investor has made investment in <coughs> long-term corporate bond. That is, so this is the present investment. The question is providing the information that says so the present investment has a return of nine percentage. and it is subject to a standard deviation of 10 percentage we are considering let's say let us shift the investment because the question says that mr b a financial advisor recommends mr a that say you sell this investment and instead of that you make investment in a combination of the index fund and treasury bill it closely tracks standard and poor 500 index that information is of no use to us that information says basically it is very similar to the nifty like that so the information is given the kind of index which is there in uh, that is say the overseas it has said expected return of 14 percentage and uska standard deviation is 6 percentage sorry 16 percentage to pehle question mein aisa pucha hai Suppose Mr. A puts all his money in a combination of index fund and the treasury bill. Can he thereby improve his expected rate of return without changing the risk of his portfolio? That is a question. So we are required to give answer. कि क्या same risk में क्या same risk में अगर आपको that is से अगर आपने ये दोनों securities का combination किया तो आपका return बढ़ सकता है? that is a question so first of all we are required to form a portfolio which has a standard deviation of 10 percentage which has a standard deviation of 10 percentage and uh, investment is made in index fund and in treasury bill kya kyunki language of the question humko aisa de rakha hai let say without changing risk aisa de rakha hai Third answer. Working note number one. Calculation of first question answer. Calculation of weight of index fund in portfolio. Right answer. Sigma P is equal to weight of index fund into standard deviation of index fund. Standard deviation of portfolio कितना होना चाहिए ten और standard deviation of index fund कितना है सोला because you are making investment in two securities and one of them is rf to humko pura weight that is formula likhne ka zarurat nahi hai so 
So, weight of index fund is equal to 10 upon 16. That is the way the weight is supposed to be found. So, 10 upon 16 that comes to 0 0.625. So, agar hum log 0.625 investment karenge index fund mein aur baaki ka risk free security mein to hamara risk kya ho jayega risk hamara ho jayega 10 percentage aur tab hamara return kya hai wo humko calculate karna hai. So, now calculation of return of portfolio weight of risk free security is 1 minus weight of index fund 1 minus 0.625 it is 0.375 return of portfolio is weight of index fund into return of index fund plus weight of risk free security into return of risk free security. Index fund ka weight kitna hai 0 0.6250. Multiplying with its return. Uska return kitna hai 14 percentage. plus 0.375 into risk free security ka return kitna hai 6. So, 0.625 into 14 that is 8.75 plus 0.375 into 6 that comes to 2.25 aur phir hum log dono ka summation karenge. So, 8.75 plus 2.25 that comes to 11. Okay. So, importantly what happens that say we can see that say for the same risk, risk pehle kitna tha 10, abhi bhi kitna hai 10 ki risk hai, par return jo pehle aapka sif 9 percent tha, wo abhi aapka kitna ho jayega 11 percent ho jayega. So, the return increases with the same risk. <clears throat> so, can he, can he improve his rate of return? The answer is yes. Yes, we look So, please take down answer. Subse pehle weight of index fund aur uske baad return of the portfolio. Please write down answer. We can observe that return increases to 11 percentage and risk is remaining. Same. So, investor will be able to improve his expected rate of return. Now, try to do second part of the question on your own. I am reading the question for you. Could Mr. A do even better, pehle se bhi better, by investing equal amount in corporate bond portfolio and index fund? That is the question. The correlation between the bond portfolio and index fund is 0 0.10. So, dono ke beech ka R 0 0.10 hai. Try to do answer on your own and put your answer in the chat box. 
Now, let us have understanding how to do second part of the question answer. Second part of the question may say that can Mr. A do even better by making equal investment. So, ye jo portfolio suggest kiya hai na, wo portfolio ka humko kya karna padega? Risk or return find karna padega. So, rather than answer calculation of return of the portfolio. So, weight of index fund into return of index fund plus weight of a uh, corporate bond into return of long term corporate bond. What is the proportion in which you have in made investment 50-50? Uh, question mein humko aisa de rakha hai ki jo index fund hai aur corporate bond portfolio unka return kya hai? It is 9 percent and uh, 14 percentage. So, it is 4.5 plus 7 that comes to 11.5. So, we can see that say yes return increases hai na jo hamara yaha pe first part of the question tha us pe return kya tha 11 tha ye to 11 se bhi zyada hai to chalo bahut achhi baat hai return increase ho gaya but the story does not end over here we are required to make the computation of the variance aur uske basis the standard deviation calculation of the variance of the portfolio kaise kiya jayega weight of index fund square into standard deviation of index fund square, weight of long term corporate bond square, standard deviation of long term corporate bond square 2 into r between both of them into weight of i into standard deviation of i, weight of l into standard deviation of l, aisa kiya jayega. Index fund ka weight kitna hai? 0.5. Or index fund ka standard deviation kitna hai? 10. Long term corporate bond ka kitna hai? 0.5. Or uska standard deviation kitna hai? Uska standard deviation is 16. Two into R. R kitna hai? 0 0.10. Into 0.5 into 10 into again 0 0.5 into 16 that is the way we are required to make the calculation of answer. So, what will happen square of 10 is 100 into square of 0 0.5 is 0 0.25 yani ye 25 ho jayega. square of 16 is 256 into 0 0.25 that comes to 64 plus 2 into 0 0.1 into 0 0.5 into 10 into 0 0.5 into 16 that comes to 8. Since of total kiya jayega that comes to 97. So, in 97 kya ho gaya? 97 ho gaya variance uska root kiya jayega that is 9.8488 to 9.85 log likh sakte hain to standard deviation of the portfolio is under root of 97 that comes to 9.85 percentage aisa karke hum log kya kar sakte hain standard deviation of the portfolio ka calculation kar sakte hain please write an answer to dekho we understand that say present Proposal 1 and proposal 2 return and risk. As per the understanding that say we have is say presently hamara return kitra and no or risk kitra and thus. Proposal 1 may same risk for usma return increase ho gaya or proposal 2 may to dono achha ho raha hai. Return bhi increase ho gaya or our risk is also falling down to 9.85 percentage. So, we understand that say Mr. A can do even better by making investment like this.
please write down answer. So, we understand that say, sabse pehle humne question mein aisa de rakha hai that say without changing the risk kya return increase ho sakta hai. To importantly humne kya kya, wo risk ko same rakh ke humne dono ka proportion calculate kiya. So, understanding of this point of the question is something important. You compute the proportion or proportion ke hisab se investment karenge to return kya aega, wo calculate kiya. And we find that say, for the same risk return increases. Second part of the question may return calculate kya portfolio ka with the proposed option which they have provided to us or uska risk calculate kya humne. And we observe that say the risk decreases and with that say the return increases.